Um, and so now what I'm able to do is I can have another image of Bentley um, with himself. So now, hello everybody, Jimmy is promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about the built-in photo editor pro that's on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. So make sure you do stick around because there's a couple different hidden features inside of here. And one of my favorite things you're able to do with a picture that you took with the Galaxy S9 is that you're able to take a picture that looks just like this, but with a couple different changes. And within about 10 seconds, you're able to make a amazing picture that looks like that. So right away, when you first do take a picture and you're looking at your gallery, if you did, let's say, take a picture with live focus, you do have an option on the very top where you have close up and you also have wide angle. Then you also notice that you have some things on the very bottom. One of them is going to be adjusting the background blur. And then this is where you can just change how much of a blur is happening in the background of the photo. And then also on the very bottom, you have an option for transform. You also have an option for different effects that you're able to do with your picture. And then also the other ones that are right next to it, which you've probably seen and played with. But if you have not gone up to the very top with those three little dots, you're going to click on the option right here that's called Open in Photo Editor Pro, which unlocks a few more editing pieces you're able to do. So with this first one, you do still have your transform. Now with transform, really, you're able to make this thing have a little bit of a rotation if you need to rotate the picture. You can also flip this thing horizontally going either way you would like it to. And you can also flip it flip it vertically. This is where you can change the aspect ratio. So you can kind of see how this right here is changing. If you want it to be one, one, if you want it to be just almost anything, if you want it to be a 16 by nine. So there's a whole bunch of different things you'd be able to do with changing of the ratio. And then you can change your perspective. Do you kind of want the picture to kind of have a little bit of a tilt action? Uh, the other thing you'd be able to do is do it vertically. And then now you also be able to go over inside of Lasso. So Lasso, this one is actually pretty fun. So let's just say that we do um, one that I want to lasso right around his entire image right here. And you can see that it wasn't really perfect. Um, but if I go right over here and I do the auto shape, then it pretty much picks up his body pretty well. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit on this little check box. And now it saved this image. So we're going to do this one um, just a little bit later on. I'm going to actually add this into a picture later on. So you're going to see what this does here in just a second. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go right back to the original picture. So heading back to the original picture, we're going to go right back over on the very top, go back to the Photo Editor Pro, and we've already played with Transform. Now this one is going to be just the effects. This is probably something that you've already played with, where you're able to kind of go through and change all these different filters and everything else. Um, and so we're not going to go too in-depth with effects, just because I believe that you are familiar. Now here is Decoration. So with Decoration, this is where you'd be able to draw on your little screen or your little picture if there's anything that you would like to draw. Um, and then you also have an option to to do eraser as well too. So let's say that you drew something, but what I did was I basically, you know, just hit the X to kind of get rid of it. So I'm going to get rid of it that way. And you can even do undo. Now, if at any point in time, if you're making any changes, this little checkbox right over here or check mark is allowing you to save what you just got done doing. Now, still within decoration, you have an option for stickers. So if you have any type of stickers that you've created with your little AR emoji, you are able to kind of place this anywhere that you want to on your image. So if I wanted to kind of make it look like he's holding a little picture frame of me, then I'm able to also do that just by hitting that little check mark. And then let's say that we wanted to not really have that. You can hit that little red dash. This is where you can add in labels. So if you wanted to add in a label, you'd be able to go through a label um, and you can add in pretty much whatever word you would like to have kind of shown. Um, on your image. And then this is where you can also do some covers. So if you wanted to maybe mask out a little bit of something, if you needed to kind of blur out maybe something of your image. Now, the one I chose there wasn't that bad of a, of a cover. It wasn't harsh. Now, this one is just a little bit more harsh. So if you really need to block something out, so maybe if this was something that has some information of maybe something that is personal, now I'm able to block it and then you just be able to hit on save. And then if we go right back over into decoration, you have images. So remember that image from before where I lassoed out Bentley. This, by the way, this is my son. His name is Bentley. Um, and so now what I'm able to do is I can have another image of Bentley um, with himself. So now if I wanted to, this is what the picture looks like. So you have a lot of different opportunities and changes and so many crazy things you're able to do with that option right there. And 
with the auto shape of the lasso, it did a fantastic job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit on undo and we're going to head over into the next category. So we already went over transform effects and decoration. Now let's head over into tone. Now tone, this is my favorite thing. This is where that little spot color was from what I mentioned at the very beginning of the video. But first off, this is where you can change the brightness. So if you do need to change the brightness, you can go ahead and go at that. You can also change your exposure. Here is your contrast. You can change your saturation and here is spot color. Now I do want to cover this one just because this is literally one of my favorite features that Samsung is able to do. Now a spot color here, if you basically press your finger on the screen, this little magnified area is what is showing you of what you would like to have basically stay its color. So it went to black and white. Now let's say that I move over to his shirt and so it's going to pick up that blue color. Now what I'm also able to do is if I hit on this little eraser and I bring down the eraser of the size, there's actually a little bit of blue inside this picture. It's kind of harder for you guys to see it right now, but I can see it um, just because there's a little bit of blue that reflected off of the sky um, onto the plaque. And then once that is finished, you can also head over into hue and I can change the hue of what color his shirt is. So there was something that I did a long time ago where my buddy went with me to a Royals game, but he is a Cardinals fan and I changed his shirt to be Royals blue and uh, so I turned him basically from a Cardinals fan to a Royals fan just by doing a fast little change with this and then you can also change the white balance and everything else as well too and once you hit on the little checkbox now you're basically done with what you just got done doing so and when you are finished with let's say the end result so if this is the one I want to save as the finished end result this is where you hit on save right there and then you are now done with your image so at this point, we've covered transform, effects, decoration, and tone. Now we're going to head over into portrait. So this is where you're able to change the portrait. So if you're kind of looking for a different, you know, portrait mode of changing what you look like in your picture, this is where you can brighten up your face. You can also even soften your face. So if you do need to soften it a little bit, if you get a close up of a selfie, you are able to. You can also change the size of your eyes. So it's not going to really pick up his eyes right there. But if I did a selfie, you'd be able to make your eyes uh, larger. You can also slim the face. So this did slim his face a little bit as I'm going through this dial. And then this is where you can also do the blurring of the background. So if you wanted to have a little bit more of a blur effect, you are able to. And then long legs, uh, well, if his legs was in there, this definitely would have made him a little bit taller. It just kind of stretched out the image. And then you can also fix the red eyes. All you have to do is just tap on each eye and it's fixing if there was a red eye that was in the picture. And then the very last category over here is going to be advanced. Now inside of advanced, this is where you can change a whole bunch of different things. So this one is gonna be changing the shadows. If you need to change anything with shadows, um, you can also change your darks if you would like to. You can even go up here and you can change what is happening with this little bar graph on the very top or this line graph. You can change those. This one is the lights. This one is also the highlights. So if there's just a couple different things that you would like to do with your image, you're pretty much able to do almost any type of edit to any type of photo. But again, my favorite thing with the Photo Editor Pro is again the spot color. Now, if you do want to find the spot color, just because this one is my favorite thing and I do want to show it to you, it's on the very top. You go inside of your Photo Editor Pro. This is where you go inside of Tone. And inside of Tone, you go to Spot Color and then you just choose what color you want to show. So let's say that you wanted to get the green grass this time and everything else is a completely different color. And again, you can see how crazy this goes with changing uh, the background. So if you want to have a little bit more artsy of an image or change the color of the sky or change the color of the ocean if you're there as well too. You can make it more of a darker blue or a darker green or lighter green, however you would like it inside of Photo Editor Pro. And when you do have something saved, it's gonna save it as a original image because this right here is just right inside of my gallery. And then right there is also that picture that I lassoed out of him and it actually came out pretty good. I didn't even try that hard when I first originally made that. I could probably make it just look a little bit better as well. Even inside of underneath his arm, inside of here you can add a additional lasso and you can take it out of there as well so I hope that you guys have appreciated this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up also if i helped you learn something new write down in the comments below what was something that you've learned new with this video i kind of wanted to show you the photo editor pro just because it's a little bit more than what you see on the very bottom and a lot of people don't know about spot color and a whole bunch of other amazing tools you're able to do with the awesome pictures that the samsung galaxy s9 and the s9 plus is able to do and again you're able to do all of this with the galaxy s8 s8 plus as well as the galaxy note 8 but make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button if if you guys want to see more videos like this, also hit on that like button and send this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And I'll see you guys later.